Volvo Cars safety experts are now working intensively to develop Volvo's new plug-in hybrid car that is due to be on the market in 2012. This car shall be able to be charged from a normal power outlet and be driven with zero emissions. But to design a new car that is powered by energy from a high-tension battery weighing 150 kilograms requires new knowledge and skills, not least of all from a safety point of view. Every time uh, you put new technology into a car, it is a challenge. And the, uh, the recipe, so to speak, to address that challenge is to build your knowledge. And that's what we're trying to do here, build our knowledge, both on a component level as well as a complete vehicle level. That also covers the whole aspect from everyday usage and the safety of those aspects to a crash that we've seen here and also what happens after the crash and also what happens after the car has been used, how you recycle it, etc. All these stages need to be considered and it's all about knowledge and you need to start on component level and build it all the way up to a complete vehicle. Model. The new plug-in hybrid shall have the same safety performance as Volvo's other petrol and diesel powered cars which is why many comprehensive tests are carried out as to how, for example, the different parts of the car are affected by the heavy battery and how the battery is affected and can be protected in the event of an accident. Carrying out full-scale tests in this way to see how the battery is affected during a collision is unique and for the experts it is, in fact, just as exciting every time seeing whether or not their theories hold up in practice test like this uh, verifies that our thoughts and what we're doing, that we are on the right track, so to speak. Despite the fact that this is environmentally adapted future technology, there are of course certain challenges using a powerful high-tension battery in it, something that the experts are naturally fully aware of. In our ambition here at Volvo, whenever we put a new technology into our cars is that, well, we know we have to, to create the knowledge, we need to do our research, and then we design around that knowledge. So, again, I think also for the consumers that have worries, so to speak, it's better to look at it from an objective perspective, look at what the debate and what the experts are, are looking at and what we're doing. And, and our ambition with these kind of technology in a Volvo car is, of course, to make this kind of car as safe as any other Volvo car to make it Volvo safe. <laughs>